Hey y'all, alright, alright, alright. KC Smoke Session, tap in, tap in, tap in. Got the butterfly in the hey. building, butterflies, baby, B and B. We're elbows. What? We're elbows, making them wings. Tap in, tap <laughs> in, tap in. Ooh. Say yeah. hey, y'all. Hey, My y'all. mama said oh, I can't I say hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she always say that, y'all. My uh, mama said that. I can't say hey y'all. So we're gonna give everybody a minute. Um well we're giving everybody a minute. Um give them a minute or two. Yeah. What on numbers at y'all? Run them up. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanna see 23 people on this live before we start talking. Run them up. Y'all know Period. my number. <laughs> Period. So y'all wanna learn some stuff. Y'all want to talk about um, being your own doctor? Y'all want to learn how to be your own doctor? Y'all want some information to share? Tap in, tap in. It's B and B, my back and bees. Where y'all at? Where my butterflies at? Tap in. Tap in, tap in, tap in, my friends. <laughs> I ain't give y'all no music today. It's all good though. I'm going to give y'all so much music here in a little bit. Y'all going to be sick of me. Sick of me, I promise. And y'all know what? I left Sigma at home. Y'all know why? Because it's wet. And earlier we went out and he had his damn feet all over me. I was so wet. So, no, he's at home. So, tap in, KC. Where y'all at though? Oh, I see some butterflies. Oh, get my <laughs> wings right there. Tap in, butterflies. I see y'all. Hey. Oh. Tap in. I got my notes. Okay. So I won't miss out on nothing. We won't forget nothing. 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 <laughs> we said we the game game. We we delivering game. Game. G A M E. Game. <laughs> we got a little game for y'all, okay? Take all of my notes. Where y'all at though? Hey, I got Mumu in the building. Oh, <laughs> she trying to act like she ain't here, y'all. Like she um. <laughs> I ain't sitting back here in the middle. Mm-hmm. Thought she was gonna be in the building and wasn't gonna be on the camera. Oh, we gonna put all focus on movement. Oh, oh. Hey girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tap in, tap in. Come on, KC. I get to, I'll start DJing for y'all ass. Scratching and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go, you go, I'll be boxing, you can rap. You just said, you just said that you just rhyme and you just flow so cold that you okay. know. You think you ought to go that just. Oh, I gotta work on it. Mm -hmm. I'm a little crusty. Look at all my butterflies. <laughs> oh, we got three in a row. Butterflies, run it uh -oh. up. Run it up. Share this live, y'all. Share it. We're gonna Share bring y'all some game. Share the live. We're trying to drop some game on y'all, okay? While well, y'all doing that, uh, let me tell y'all mm, um, about that um, Anchor Radio that I got with that Smoke Session Confession. Y'all got to get on in there and check that shit out because it's really, really like taking off and doing good. It's on Spotify and all that shit, so really check it out. I might, uh, once I get my studio and everything, I'll set the fuck up, then go on and bring it back where I just read it and be done with it and then have it on live as well. Um just trying not to overexert my motherfucking self, you know, because right now I'm doing a whole bunch, so, yeah. But uh, just want to let y'all know that we got Brittany in the building, baby. Beauty Mark brand. We rubbing elbows, y'all. We creating wings. Big, baby. We backing each other. That's it. That's it. That's what it's about, Big support. businesses. We trying to support, yeah. support, support. Y'all got to tap in so y'all can y'all can really, really, really understand what she's doing here and what she has going on. I mean, it's, it's really, truly amazing. And 
I just love it. So I, I got to just let her tell you all about it and just really bring awareness to really what's going on with this medicine and, you know, try to figure out, you know, ways to get past this damn pharmaceutical drugs and shit. Because it was the time when we didn't have that shit. Our ancestors, they didn't have that. They couldn't call and get a prescription and all that shit. It wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, today it's, it's, it's going to be a, a teaching, a good teaching for y'all. So, she's going to ah. learn y'all some stuff today. That's what she going to do. Okay. So, I see my butterflies tapping in. I'm going to just tell y'all what Beauty Mark brand represent. It represents support. And if you see the bees on my wings, they back each other. So if you believe in back in businesses, believe in back in me. We support businesses. So anybody, if y'all have a business, I see y'all on my timeline. I try to share y'all. I promote blue and red hearts because it was a time where I didn't believe in my business and other people did. So if it wasn't for the ones that backed me up until this point and the ones that's going to back me later on, there would be no Beauty Mark brand, period. Because I would use the stuff just for me, my family, my baby. I'm trying to educate myself as well as everybody around me. So if y'all know me, y'all know how passionate I am about what I do. If I'm doing hair, if I'm entertaining my children, or if I'm doing my oils, however the situation is, it comes from my heart. I do it out of love. So me pushing this brand, it's not about... The oils, it's not about me, it's about support. If you don't have support, you have nothing. You cannot fly without your wings, y'all. So we rub elbows, okay? We getting together, we rubbing elbows, and we gonna fly, okay? Right. If we back each other, that's what it's about. It's about support and backing each other. Yeah. So, I don't see 23 viewers yet. <laughs> I should have had the camera turned around. Because people, you know, a lot of my viewers, they view, like, later on. You know, I, I don't, I don't really Okay, well, we can get into it, y'all. Yeah. Let's do I mean, it. Because if we wait on viewers, we'll be sitting here, you know, just because uh, some people, they, they probably wait on me to start late. Because sometimes I, a lot of times I start late. Okay. Okay, y'all. Now, shit. Yeah. So, we gonna get into it. Okay, so I brought my Goddess Beretta bottle. I've been pushing this bottle maybe a couple of months now. And I only push it because it's kind of important right now with coronavirus going around. And this bottle, it's been helping my family for a long time. I started with this bottle with my goddaughter, Moriana. Hi! That'd be her. So when I made the bottle, I did research for her. So uh, the doctor kind of diagnosed her with uh, sickle cell, which is a blood disease. And it, it's basically uh, when your white blood cells collapse, they don't have oxygen, and it causes pain throughout your body. And so I never really knew what sickle cell was. I just know they say, oh, it's a black disease. It's something that black people have. But I know as a young child, Moriana, when she was diagnosed with it, she never really had pain. So she would always say, uh, I don't have sickle cell. I don't have sickle cell. So we look at her like, really? I said, okay, that's what's up, babe. Keep speaking that. You don't have sickle cell. You don't have it. And y'all got to know the power comes from your tongue. It comes from within you. Speaking if you think it, it yeah. and it's in your heart, you bring it out. And you speak You speak healing over your body. Mm -hmm. You speak uh, your situation. Exactly. You can speak anything into your existence. Mm -hmm. I speak support. I speak uh, prosperity. Everything good I try to speak. And a lot of times I don't, but I do try to reevaluate myself. And I try to think positive. Therefore, it come out like that. Amen. So... A lot of times when we're dealing with her crises, it's hard. And if anybody know, if you have sickle cell and you do deal with pain and crises, you know how the hospital kind of treats you. And I've dealt with uh, the hospital maybe, not not long, but prior to, she was in the hospital maybe two years straight, y'all. She never really <coughs> got a chance to even be a teenager. They said he want to pump fentanyl in her veins and, you know, just all this extra stuff they want to do to her. Oh, we got this new medicine. Oh, let's try this. Let's try this. And not knowing no better, we depend on the doctors to and help it's us. so addictive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From day one, it's just like they wanted her to have a pill. And they said, oh, give her this every so many hours. Give her. She would never take her medicine like that. So as she got older, they would say, oh, well, she has this. And she like, well, why isn't she in the hospital all the time? Mm -hmm. Because we do, we study, we go back and do our natural remedies that we've been taught. We were, we were never taught that. I'm going to be honest with you. I was never taught natural remedies. Mm -hmm. But I know my grandparents and stuff, you try to take them to the hospital. The first thing they say is, no, the hospital's going to kill me. You thinking like, oh, they crazy. No, 
The hospital will kill you. Yes. No lie. Yes. The medicine, not saying that it's all bad, y'all, but y'all still got to understand your health is within you. You speak health over your body. Every time we go in there, they say, oh, you got this or you got that. I'm like, hold on, don't speak that over my baby. We're not going to do that. I say, mm-hmm. mama, we speak healing mm-hmm. over your body. And I make her say it. I say, say you're healed. You're healed. Mm-hmm. So we do that. But then we um, we have the guy's Loretta bottle in it, uh, peppermint in it, it's tea tree in it, and it's lavender in it. And when we apply it to her, we apply it up and down on her spine. We apply it on the bottoms of her feet. We apply it around her hairline. And we also uh, put it in a diffuser and we put it in the air. And if that doesn't help, then we'll put small drops amount in her um, in her water and we have her drink it. And y'all got to know food is medicine. So if y'all not practicing healthy eating or practicing um, exercising and doing all the, the things that you need to do to prep yourself. It's self Drink lots of water. Oh, drink mm-hmm. plenty of water. Mm-hmm. It's important. And then even when you meditate and you think healing, think yes. healing. Don't think like, oh, I'm going to be sick. They was preparing her for death. When they pump fentanyl into her veins. That's terrible. They basically pushing her to our next level of death. And they say, oh, we're just going to soothe her. She's going to always have sickle cell. But I'm going to tell y'all another thing. The sun will heal your body. If you sit in the sun, it gives your, your blood cells. Especially it gives our people. No, we please. need it. We need vitamin D. We should take vitamin D pills every day. We mm-hmm. need that supplement. We have to have it. And if you don't take that... You should really, like, do your research on that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. peppermint, it gives you energy. I had to write this stuff down, y'all. I'm not going to even fake. I, I do this stuff all the time, but when it comes to speaking and telling people about it, I say, go do your research. It's saying the Bible, Bible study for yourself for your own approval. So I tell people, peppermint, go research it. Mm-hmm. I have to research this stuff every day. I'm laying in my bed before I go to bed. I'm putting it in my spirit before I lay down so I can wake up and actually try to live this lifestyle. Amen. It's a day-to-day struggle, and God placed Moriana in my life to help help me because if I didn't have her y'all I wouldn't even pray Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just be honest with you I have to pray just to keep her sane Mm -hmm. and a lot of times the stuff that he gives us is already here Mm -hmm. so just use it use your peppermint it helps with headaches it helps with muscle cramps it helps with pain and that's what she has sickle cell a lot of times it takes her body into muscle spasms Mm -hmm. so a lot of times it's not even her blood cells that are collapsing it's her body lacking water lacking certain things that she needs right and so like tea tree yeah we got highlights okay so tea tree it helps with coughs it helps with colds um bacteria viruses funguses Anything that uh, will attack your uh, blood mm-hmm. cell, it, it also increases the uh, activity in your white blood cells. So, y'all, I learned that today, too. So, I'm doing it every day, and I'm just trying to really bring more awareness to my people, my viewers, the people that tap in. It's important that you be your own doctor because when the doctors are not available, when the doctors don't give you your medicine and prescribe you the things that you feel like you should have, then you go into a panic, right or wrong. You go into a panic. Oh, I need my pills. Oh, I need this. Oh, no, you don't. You need to meditate. You need to pray. And you need to get off into your natural remedies, y'all. That is so important. So, basically, um, lavender is another ingredient I use. And lavender is basically like, you know what I'm saying? So, it'll calm you. It'll soothe you to help you sleep at night. It helps with stress. And um, I use other ingredients into my Goddess Beretta bottle and uh which will be eucalyptus some people are allergic to it but it's important that you go and you do your research it's important that you eat healthy it's important that you exercise it's important that you get the right sleep at night like a lot of times i, I stop doing hair my feet be swollen and i'm like look y'all i'm tired i rub my oils on my body my pain i have back pains i don't take pain medicine my baby stopped all her pain medicine y'all when i tell her the doctor had her on fentanyl shots Every 15 minutes, she was pumping it into her veins. And I went in there one day. I said, um, what is that you pumping? She's like, I don't know. So I started asking the doctors. I'm more in tune to what they're doing. I said, do y'all know fentanyl is killing people? The people looked at me. Uh, then they want to go back and change your charts and come up with a whole bunch of other different stuff. When you So they think because it's low dosage that it's okay. Yeah, That's no. That's what it is. Yeah. No, because mm-hmm. a little becomes more. You know right, what I'm saying? So right. here it is. Now her veins are deteriorating. They said, let's go straight into her chest with the port. No, y'all not. Mm. No, y'all not. So I told her, I said, babe, we got to do better. Every time the doctors say do this, we're going to match them. Every time they say do this, we're going to do it doubly. And we got her to where she was at the hospital for two years straight, y'all. No lie. We got doctor records and everything. My baby hasn't been in the hospital for a shot since March. 
Her last visit to the hospital, the ladies, they were so mean to her. They was jamming needles in her and just being real. She said, get off of me. She said, it's not helping. She was like, I'm never coming here again. My baby spoke those words and we never been to the hospital, y'all. We deal with her crises at home. When I tell you she goes through it, she say, I'm feeling my pain. I'm like, okay, drink your water. Okay, I'm rubbing her body down. And it, the last time she had a crisis, I'm not going to even lie, y'all. I was just, I was tired. And it seemed like every time her crisis come on, I'll be real tired and exhausted. And I'm like, God, really? Really? And I'll be doing, I'm like, no, 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 be humble. Mm -hmm. I have to humble mm -hmm. myself. And I have to say, this baby is going through pain. It's not you going through the pain. You tired. Right. She's hurt. Right. So I big fall difference. down on my face. It's mm -hmm. a big difference. Mm -hmm. You take yourself aside and put her on the pedestal and you you give God all glory. Mm -hmm. Period. And I say, babe, we gotta speak this. And I have to pray about it a lot, y'all. I have to put myself aside and I look at it like he's helping me to help her to help other people. Mm -hmm. And I said, babe, if we tell your story, it's a lot of people out here. I have a lady using my bottle that has lupus. I have my mom using my bottle. She has high blood pressure. She stopped taking her medicine. And I'm not telling y'all to stop taking y'all medicine, but wing yourself away. Start doing different things. Start like eating right. Yeah. yeah. That's the very Food first thing I think. When you eat right and you start drinking right. Yeah. And like you said, speak it into existence and you know, all of that, then you can you gonna see a difference anyway. Yeah, and you're just skin and exercising everything. and things like that. So can you explain this one more time? I got my goddess <laughs> for <red laughs> We keep this bottle on deck. I'm not going to even lie, y'all. We swear by this bottle. This is my goddess Beretta bottle. And see, I named it a goddess Beretta bottle. If you think about it, a goddess, and then it's a Beretta. It's your weapon. It's your weapon. Knowledge is power. If you don't know nothing, then you basically dealing, going off of what they say, going off of what the doctors say. You don't have to believe the doctor's report. The doctor spoke death over my child. No. Mm -hmm. No. I said, Mumu, don't believe nothing they say. When they come in there, Oh, she has this. I said, why wouldn't y'all take me aside and tell me that? Why y'all telling me this in front, in front of her? her. Right. That's not fair to her. Now she just gave herself a difference. How she going to heal mentally? Right. If you don't heal here first, how can you heal here or physically? That's right. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to have your whole mindset different. You got to know where your power comes from. And it comes from what you speak. The words that you speak into your existence. I said, baby, speak healing. I said, believe it first. If you believe it right here and you speak it, it's going to happen, y'all. Because mm -hmm. when I started pushing Beauty Mark brand... Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all now. It's not me. I don't. I want to hide behind a butterfly. I'm not gonna even lie. I'm like, where my back and knees? I need y'all, right. and I'm not lying. I need y'all, and it's serious because it's to the point to where I can't do it by myself. I fall short all the time like this, and y'all pick me up, y'all lift me up, y'all raise me back up. To God be the glory, if yeah. nothing else. And I Amen. think I think all my back and knees. If y'all was there before, y'all here now. Y'all gonna be here later. Whenever y'all hop in, y'all out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you. it. Thanks makes room for more. Y'all better know that. Yes. yes. Y'all better know that. And so when you, how often do you have to use this? Uh, we apply it like during her illnesses. I try to apply it when she's having a crisis every 15 minutes. I tell people that are really sick and ill, if you're going through something, apply it every hour on the hour. Try to move, put it in your pain spots. It usually works right away, but some people's pain levels are different. So I told them to apply it every 15 minutes, every hour on the hour. And then like, okay, like with the coronavirus stuff going around right now, y'all know it's in the air. Mm -hmm. So they tell y'all to wear y'all mask, but you can still get it in your eyes. So what I do is we went to Florida, we didn't came back. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, I didn't caught it in my throat a couple. I was like, ugh, I rubbed the oil on there, rub it on my nose. My eyes run, my throat run, I spit up mucus. And it's, and it's, I'm healed. I feel better. You know your body. You know if you're not feeling good. First, you'll get a headache you go, uh, or you'll get tired. So mm -hmm. that's a sign of, okay, go drink some water. Or, mm -hmm. okay, go eat something. Or, okay, go get your goddess Beretta bottle that's and rub right. it on you. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people go, run, oh, let me take a pain pill, pain pill, pain pill. You look up, you pain pilled out, your feet still swollen, your back yeah. still hurting. Mm -hmm. so and, you the pain pill, and you addicted. And you addicted. Uh-huh. We mm -hmm. had to wean her off of the medicine. It's so crazy. They had her on pills. They had her on so much medicine. It was to the point to where her mama was ready to sue the hospitals. Terrible. That this coronavirus that they declaring over everybody, it's a malpractice in a hospital, believe it or not. They didn't mess up a lot of people. It's not just her. It's not just my mom, my cousin. It's a lot of people, and a lot of people run to the hospital to get help. And the hospitals don't know nothing. They've only trained to do this. And then they want I mean, me in the because hospital. It's, it's like it's foreign. So every I mean everybody's guessing, you know. Yeah, they and that's know. why they're sending everyone back home. So at this point, you're better off just staying home unless they said you can't breathe, you know, 
know, and it mm-hmm. just gets to a point when you can't inhale. But that's why you got the diffuser. Okay. Okay. And y'all can put the drops into a steam. If you get over the steamer and just let it open you up, y'all know peppermint. It'll help and you breathe. And old school, they didn't have that. So you go in there, you boil you a pot of damn water on that stove. Yeah. And you put you some drops in there, and you lean your head over that bitch. Okay, that's what you do. Um. So this diffuser right here, how um many drops you? I just put one or two drops in there, okay. and then I sleep with it sometimes. Like, um, if we're not feeling good and like, you know, when sickness comes, like my, my babies, they'll get like my little one. I really don't know, but like, I can tell when he's like, you know, acting all, Smiling you know, down, just yeah. kind of mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. So I just take his whole body and massage him down with the oils and he'll close his eyes cause it's kind of strong. Now I do dilute the bottles and sometimes I make them stronger mm-hmm. just depending on a person. So I always say, if you want to purchase the guys for red bottle, come to me direct. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to know your history. I want to know what you, so what you take the medicines it for that person particular oh yeah okay the strength mm-hmm. okay so as far as the i never could say this word right eucalyptus eucalyptus okay oh. you can make it with that or without it so uh-huh. one is allergic to it you don't have to get it with that so mm-hmm. don't think that you can't purchase this because of that and i noticed that because you had mm-hmm. asked me that when because a lot of people have allergies to certain stuff like nuts or anything if you got citrus some people have allergies to citrus and it's a lot of stuff that i'm learning along the way so i'll deal with people hands on mm-hmm. just kind of like i deal with her i have a few and i i want to say i'm clients but what i told mumu i said <laughs> I gotta call them clients. I said they my next victim. That's what okay, I said. <laughs> hey, go get them straight together. I said we just we just trying stuff, and that's what I did with my baby. But it's it's more power in the words that you speak. If you speak healing over your situation, you gonna be healed. Like Amen. somebody said, like you can believe it and it'll happen. You can think it and it'll happen. Yeah, so yeah, if you steady, it to achieve yeah, it. you steady mm-hmm. going to the doctor and they say, oh, you got a uh, high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. You go, oh, my pressure's high. That's why I'm dizzy. Yeah. No, you dizzy because you've been up on your feet all day. You've been working the nine to five. You come home, you're arguing with kids or whatever you're doing. Yeah. And you're not resting. Mm-hmm. You're not meditating. You're not taking you time out to right. for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you eating fast mm-hmm. foods. You running back and forth. And doctor say, here, take this pill. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Then you gotta go purchase it. <laughs> then you're depending on it. Then exactly. they gotta wing you off of it. And oh, it ain't. Hey, I'm telling y'all, we gotta get back to these home remedies, guys, it's because important. they are um, capitalizing off of us. They are um, putting these foreign drugs in us, and yeah. it is really destroying our all of our organs. I mean, it's 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 tearing. It's uh, it's horrible. Uh-huh. I mean, we gotta do better. We have to do better. Um, so what is this? Okay, so every hair. everything that I make basically make for hair, it kind of jumped off from the goddess Beretta bottle. So okay. Uh, when I did my research, like, I had clients that everybody kind of did the big chop and cut their hair uh, maybe five or six years ago. Mm-hmm. So people would ask me, like, what's a good product to use? And here I am, I don't know, I don't mm-hmm. know. And it just didn't look professional. So yeah. I was like, uh, let me figure it out. So mm-hmm. I would go and look up stuff. And I'm like, well, try this, try this. And then I started making stuff for my clients. And they be like, oh, my hair is soft. When you did my hair, what did you use? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I use this stuff. And they was like, well, can you make me some? I'm like, uh, no. Like, this is for me and my clients. Right. So they would start stealing my bottles. And I'm like, okay, so wait a minute. They come, they said, no, I'm taking this because I need this. I need this for my hair. Right. So I would just make bottles I, for I've my I've been clients. one of them clients that have done that before. So I know exactly what uh-huh. you're speaking of. Mm-hmm. So I would just make it for my clients. And then eventually, like, I had my original bottle which is the red top bottle, and it's just basically all essential oils, which is in here, and I just diluted more, and then uh, I went further off into my research, and uh, that's my extra strength bottle, which is the glass bottle, and uh, I just added more vitamins in it with the essential oils, so uh, I'm still doing research, and I want to have one, two, and three doses based off the texture of people's hair, so I just always tell people to stay tuned, y'all, I don't have it all together, but I do want y'all to study for y'all self and know that it's important to self-prep, so that's what we're dealing with right now, I'm, I'm dealing with my baby and her sickle cell, and I know a lot of people go through, uh, you know, their issues that they have, so I say, I got something that may help you try this. And I get really good reviews back. So it's just all about support. And like, if you believe in back in businesses, just um, 
I do your research, like, right. and try to, I try to stay in my night, and a lot of times I do curve off and, and uh, do other stuff, but I'm a work in progress, that's why I'm trying to stick to the script, y'all, it's hard, and I start <laughs> writing my stuff down, and I start doing stuff, they say, this girl don't know what's, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I know at the end of the day, I know, I believe in certain things, mm -hmm. and when you speak stuff into existence, it has power, and when you're doing your research, and you're studying, you're trying different things, and you know what helps you, and what's not good for you, I drunk two pops back to back. Tell me why my skin started breaking. I said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> because your body wasn't used yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you, 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 it wasn't used to it. See, I drink pop all day. Mm -hmm. You know, so my, my body just like, whatever, you mm -hmm. know. But this right here, y'all, I... This is what I'll be talking about, y'all. I ain't never showed y'all, but this is what I'll be talking about when I'm like, because since I've gotten these locks, my scalp is like really tender. So if you got any kind of braids or anything and you having like problems like with your scalp and it's just like tender or whatever, because I caught I was having issues. My scalp was so sore. It felt like I had um, got some... Um, some of those what knowledge twist uh a lot of that stuff is the products too that people put on your hair. Well it irritates Well with my hair. locks I don't have that she don't use anything. Really? Yeah, so it was just unreal how my head my how my scalp feels. That's mm -hmm. I mean when I came in there I was I was uh, in pain. Yeah, yeah I, remember. I mean it was horrible, y'all. <laughs> and I went in there and this is my bottle. I had to bring it and it's like this much left in there, okay? But my scalp feels so much better and it's not i can tell like it's grown because it's not even like tight no more and mm -hmm. it's like oh i got new growth and i'm a um and i got a ball spot y'all so i'm gonna let y'all know oh. and we did take a picture and report it and all that but we, we try to bring that spot our, back yeah so we doing um our little um <laughs> But when I say a victim, my next victim, <laughs> right. I'm her victim. So she is uh, doing her little demonstration on me. So I've been using it, and I'm about, what, three weeks in? Mm -hmm. And um, I got some little prickly, so it's working. And I just really, like, hope it really works because my patch is really big, so I can't show y'all yet Gotta until stay I home, give me a little afro. <laughs> You know, when I get a little afro, then I'm going to show y'all, because this is, uh, it wasn't right, y'all. It was Prince. fucked up. It was fucked up. <laughs> you I, said, we're going to believe that spot going to grow back, and it's going to grow back. Gonna, I got to speak into existence, because, hey, this back is... Back out for long, Prickly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, hey, but we got to we gotta support each other, you guys. Mm -hmm. We got to, you know, back each other, and we got to really, like... Stay consistent or whatever, yeah, and that's um, the key. yeah. What's how can they get in contact with you? Like, where can they pick this up if they don't get it from you? What or do you okay. have a website or? Ooh, okay, about the website, uh, it's under construction. Y'all can still go on a website. It's just hard to purchase on a website. I just try to tell people to deal with me direct. Uh, inbox me. Uh, you can go online if you would like, or you can go into the stores. Thirty First and Prospect Beauty Icon has. I also have a handful of vendors, y'all. Beauty Mart brand is a up and coming black owned business, Ooh. and yeah, I got a lot crazy. of supporters. So when when you it's can't amazing. find me, you'll be able to find. I got butterflies. People change into butterflies every day. Y'all give me my strength. Y'all my wings. When I click, when I get up in the morning, I look at my phone. I say, look at my butterfly. It yeah. made me just want to get up and continue to push my brand. Mm -hmm. And it's about, it's all about support because you have people that try to speak down on you. You know what I'm saying? Or speak down on your business and it'll have you in a slump. You might have a dream that other people don't have. Yeah. So whatever it is that you want to do, push it. That's all it's about. And you may get supporters, you may not. But the more you push it, the more people will support you. The more because they see you passionate about it. And if you all in, and I do it for a reason, not a season. Know that. That's right. I do it for a reason. I got my babies. I got my back and knees. I can't. I can't lose. I can't lose. Eee, beauty mark brand. Beauty mark brand. Better but you know what it. we got to do is we have to. Oh, I'm beauty not sure at the brand. beginning of this um, really, really like y'all can hear because I didn't have my um, wire plugged in over here. So that's why I had to go back and talk about this bottle and the diffuser and all of this stuff. Um, oh, no, no, I no. Do, um, that's why I had to go back. <laughs> that's why I just had to go back. But, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't miss anything or whatever. Um, I do want you guys just to know that 
we have to support and most of the people that come on my show like them they're all of them i i constantly support them i let them just you know post you know whatever so you know what's coming up so you'll know how to get in contact with this baby you'll know how to you know order these things and try them out to give we, them definitely, <laughs> we definitely have to you know try these products and stuff and like i said get back to trying to do you know what our ancestors was doing from our roots and just not you know, deal with these pharmacies, and the, I mean, these pharmacists, they are just, can rip off, you know, and then we're putting these foreign fucking pills into our bodies, and That's the devil. Shit, yes, it's not healthy, and I mean, I'm not saying I don't take medication, because I do, now, I ain't gonna fucking lie, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't take medicine every day, okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting away from it, you know, I'm going to start meditating. I'm going to start doing whatever the hell I got to do mm -hmm. to get off of medication because this shit ain't right, you know. It's a and process. Yeah, and they, they are just capitalizing. Like I said, they are making so much fucking money off of this shit. It's unreal, mm -hmm. you know. We got to get back to getting us a garden outside, okay. you know. And, you know, making our, getting mm -hmm. our own shit. I mean, fuck this meat. You know, mm -hmm. this shit ain't healthy. I mean, they know we eat chicken. Yeah. They know, goddamn, we eat chicken. Think they ain't pumping that money. So they gonna fuck us up because they know we going to get some chicken, y'all. We stop eating some chicken, we gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta start. I mean, we gotta start thinking. I mean, I'm just, I'm just keeping it a hundred percent. You really gotta really just put your thinking caps on. We gotta really just get back to the old fashioned ways. You know, the old days. Get to talking to our people that, you know, sitting on the porch ain't got nothing to do. Our OGs. <laughs> yeah, they ain't got nothing they to do. They got so much They'll tell us. Yeah, yeah, they'll tell us. You know, they don't even tell us how to start that garden. Yeah. You know, the right way. My garden died. I wasn't out there prepping it like I was supposed to. You got to be in tune with your yeah, garden. You got to you know when the water is. You got to mm -hmm. know when it got too much sun. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. But right now, you probably could go ahead and do it mm -hmm. and be successful mm -hmm. because your mind is right where you want it to be right now. If I had somebody helping me, if I had some backing me in right. my garden. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> You know, they all put together in gardens now, so uh -huh. you know they own dang near in every neighborhood. It's um, a couple on the end of our block, so yeah, it's they, important that you got a team. Mm -hmm. I mean, the team is everything, so y'all, we got to stay prayed up, team okay. up, okay? And hey, my back of me, they back of me, hey, my back of me, but we're gonna they go on and let y'all go. Thanks for Ooh. tuning in, I appreciate y'all, BMB baby. Hey. Support some the butterfly. Support. I need my wings to fly. Oh, and I'm pushing blue and red hearts, y'all. Pushing blue and red hearts is so important that you show love to people. Even if they don't show love back to you, keep showing love because it's in you, not on you. That's okay? right. And it's, hey, true statement. True statement. <laughs> Shout out to my Oak City, D Detroit. Love you, baby. Tasha, love you, girl. And I'm my butterfly. <laughs> BMB, baby.